What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use Revit on two monitors. As you can see I've got a two monitor system over here where I'm using uh, two screens. It just makes the whole workflow a lot easier. You've got more screen real estate. And if you want to use Revit on two screens, you need to have the latest version of Revit, which is Revit 2019. And if you don't have it installed, don't worry. You can download it quite easy and download it for free and install on your computer. Just check out this tutorial, first link in the description. And it's super simple. You just download it, install the student version. It's free and it works perfect. And now I'm just going to be showing you how to use Revit on two screens. So I'm just going to be starting Revit over here and as you can see I'm using Revit 2019 and let's just wait for a second to start. Come on Revit. Okay and now I'm just going to be using this sample file and if you can't find it you just need to go here to open and then you need to go to uh, my computer, you go to disk C you need to find program files, then you need to go to Autodesk over here. Let's see, Autodesk, find the version of Revit you're using, or Revit 2019 in this case. Then you need to find sample files, and as you can see, it's this kind of a, a basic sample project, and you just open it up. And I'm using this project because I already have some views set up over here, so it's simple to demonstrate how working on two screens goes. So anyway, so this is the project that we're going to be showing you. And let's go maybe to, I don't know, let's open up a level, perhaps level 2. So you've got level 2 over here, and as you can see, all of your tabs are opening up over here. It used to be over here you would get like a drop menu, but now it's all over here. And maybe let's open some, I don't know, some 3D views. Let's see what we have from Yard. Yeah, this is a cool view. So maybe you want to view this. And let's say you want to make some adjustments to these three windows. So you need to have level two open up where you have those three windows. You don't need level one, so let's close it. And you don't need this layout, so let's close that. So you need this 3D view to see how that looks in 3D. And you need some elevations. So maybe let's go to south elevation. And as you can see, these are those windows we're talking about. So now I'm just going to be grabbing this and moving it to the other screen like this and here now I can set it up like so, so you can see how, how that works and here I'm going to take this 3D, perhaps place it, let's place it over that and just move it maybe here and let's just resize the window kind of like this. And then you just click on that screen and you zoom in uh, at the point where you want to be and again I click here, zoom in, I like this view, and now I can go just to the floor plan and then start playing around with this window. Okay, let's just remove constraints. But anyway, as you can see, we can play around with this window, we can move this window around, and as you can see, it automatically updates on all screens. So you can maybe work in 3D and see, maybe you want to move it here, and then you go to the uh, floor plan and you see, okay, now it's here where there is a wall, so it doesn't work over there, so we need to bring it back. And it's easy to make adjustments like this when you have immediately, uh, you've got more views opened up, and because you're using two screens, all the views are big enough so you can see everything quite clearly. You're not working with like split screen where you've got four views over here and you don't really see anything because everything's too small. But anyway, so that's how you use Revit 2019 on two monitors. It's amazing that Autodesk gives us this option in the 2019 version of Revit. So that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.